here. Um, as you guys know, Marty and I have been fixing up the house we bought um, last um, August. And um, so today we're um, going to be replacing the commode. It's an eyesore and um, I wanted a new one so we got it. So um, today Marty's going to do an instructional video on how to replace the toilet in your house. So with nothing else to say, we're going to go ahead and start putting the new commode in. Who is? Shea Bear. <laughs> you said Marty. Did I say Marty? Uh, I'm looking you too. at me. Did she say Marty? Probably. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So Shea Bear is going to be putting in the toilet. All right. Thanks. All right. So here's what we're going to be changing. It's really not an eyesore, but it's too high for Pooh's little legs. So the first thing, anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, Shut your water off just like that. Now, after you do that, you're going to want to flush that and get all the water out of your bowl out. So, what we're going to do here is take this off. Can you take that, please? Mm -hmm. hey, both I, hands. I got it. I got it. Thank you. So the water's off, so you're going to want to just drain this down. Get all the water out of it. There's that. And then, we need to get a towel. Put down here, because what I'm going to do... Okay, sorry about that. I accidentally shut the camera off. So we're going to take this and we're going to loosen it. are the two bolts you're going to want to take out that one and another one here on this side take these bolts out well that one's kind of loose so um oops turn the light over there that one's kind of loose but you're going to want to take them out now i don't know if you can see that or not let's get See how right there, it's real thin. What that's for is after you, when you buy these bolts and you put them in, you tighten them down and everything, you can get these plastic caps that cover these. You put your cap on and your bolt in, and you snap that off. That's why it's real thin right there. You snap that off so that way the cap cover goes on. Now, we didn't buy the cap. We I bought new bolts, of course, and new wax ring, but we didn't buy the caps. Because they were 450 and they used to come in the set. So, but anyway, we're going to get started on this and I'll get back with you here in a second. Okay, now we're back and we're going to take this bolt out. Now, sometimes, like in our last house, we, uh, I actually had to cut these bolts off because they were so rusted and stripped. And uh, that was a pain. If you can see that. So if you got to do that, if you're not comfortable with it, it's always good to call a friend or a plumber or whatever that knows how to do this kind of thing. But like I said, they'll rust sometimes. And you actually got to get either in here, under here, with a hacksaw blade and cut them off or cut them off up here and try not to hurt your porcelain. But anyway, now I'm going to do that on the other side. And, um, and I'm going to cut you down for that. I'm going to do the other side and then uh, we'll get this up out of here. Be right back with you. 
Okay. Are you ready for this, Pooh? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, now we just gotta kind of wiggle and make sure you get the wax ring. And we pick it up, and this is what we do with it. Put that way, Minnie. And we take it out here and set it right in Pooh Bear's way. And there's that, and I'll show you something else. This is your wax ring. This is all going to come out. And what you got to do is clean all this off and make sure it's all nice and clean before you put the new one in. Put a new wax ring in. You can't reuse them. Some people do, but they're just going to end up leaking. So uh, I'm going to get that taken care of and get that clean, cleaned off. And I'll be right back with you. All right, YouTube, back with you. I just wanted to give you a quick... I got... Whoops, shit. Almost knocked the camera over. I got most of this cleaned off real good. Now, the reason why we're not gonna worry about the floor is this, going, this is going to be all replaced here soon anyway, the floor. So this is just uh, what we're doing for right now, just to show you. Uh, now, how you take these out, I'll show you a new one. See the head on that? It's funky looking, it's not round. That keeps it from twisting. So, but what all you do is you slide this over and then out. Same way with the other side. Now, it's still got some of the old wax ring stuff in there. Now, he can clean that out real good if you want, but a lot of times I find it helps hold the bolt in there for you a lot better, like that, if you don't. But, I mean, I, I recommend you would, um, which this is going to come up again. Uh, once I take this all back up to replace the flooring in here, you know, this will all be clean and perfect like new. So, and what these do, these little washers here, what this does, you put these on here, slide it down on, and that holds your bolt for you when you go to set the commode down on. those will just stay on there just kind of helps you a little bit now a lot of guys will put the wax ring or Johnny ring as Pooh Bear calls it uh, same thing the wax ring in here first and then put the commode down on it what I do is I put the wax ring on top of the commode or on the commode and then set it down because it'll stick on there either way you prefer I don't know if there's an etiquette I'm not a professional plumber an etiquette on how you're supposed to do that but I, I'm just guessing it's a matter of preference I've done it both ways both ways work but so I'm gonna cut you off I just want to show you how to change these bolts so I'm gonna cut you off now and I'm gonna put set the commode down in here down on here and uh, we'll get back to you Okay, YouTube, I'm back. Now, I spared you of setting the commode down on the thing because, well, it's pretty boring. Um, the holes in the, well, you can't see them, but the holes down there where the bolts come through, they're slotted, so you won't have any problems setting it down on. And just set it down on, tighten them down. They don't have to be tight like a lug nut on a car. You know, just snug them up real good so nothing moves. Now, this is not a brand new commode. This was in the basement when we got the house. So, but I'm gonna show you. Pooh Bear got this nice wooden toilet seat. I'll show you how to put this on. Looks a little crooked, but there. And it comes with your little attachments. She bought this, what'd you get for this? $7.99. $7.99, so she did really good you just put these down in there or does these ones go up through yeah no, these go down in there like that and up underneath you just put them on same with these they don't have to be tight with big brute force strength or anything like that 
sell, and they just snug up. Now, when you're taking your old toilet seat off, you may run into the same problem like I was talking about down below, where you don't have to cut the, you might have to cut the bolts off or whatever. But they come come with plastic now, which in a way is good. It's got its ups and downs. Plastic, you can break it off real easy if you have to. But plastic, they break off real easy when you don't want them to sometimes too. But it's no big deal because they're only a couple bucks. How much we give for them? For what? Oh no, we didn't buy these. They oh. came with the thing. They're like two or three bucks, you know, if you do have to get get these little these little bolts here. So you just screw it up on there and I go up until it touches. Same way with the other side. And then you move it around, you know, to where it fits fits good and it's got a nice fit on it. And I'm gonna show you uh, but like I said, this was in the basement. The other one was just too tall because uh, it, it is for like handicap or um, so maybe that's why this was in the basement um, we're not sure but so now the tank on this like we can't find the lid to it so we got to get a lid but uh, a lid for the tank for the bag so just kind of move around till it's got a nice fit on it and then go ahead and tighten it up. What I do, I just use a screwdriver and my fingers. Is all I do to tighten. Screwdriver, you don't actually twist this. You twist the nut up on and you just hold it with a screwdriver. And I tighten with my fingers. And then just flip your little flaps down. So for seven bucks, what the hell, it's nice. And I'll show you now this, you guys, I'll, I'll put a, in with this, I'll put the, uh, the old sink in here. Uh, that was in here when we got the house. This was in the basement as well. And of course it was all nasty. Now, back here is, this is supposed to be clear up against the wall. Oh, shit. This is supposed to be clear up against the wall. And it's supposed to be caulked and sealed there. Now the reason why we haven't done it is because we haven't done the walls yet. This is where the old sink was. Right up there. So once we get the walls done, this, this vanity will be back up where it's supposed to be and we need to get a new medicine cabinet but there's that and here is the uh, the commode and that thing was gnarly kind of gnarly looking too wasn't mm -hmm. it Pooh? but Pooh used some what you call it secret weapon on it yeah the works oh it's called the works the works yeah the works yeah so I guess it's not secret no more no <laughs> but that's what she used to use and inside the tank there you can see that that's actually clean compared to what the rest of it looked like so she did an awesome job on this thing and there you go and there's our our lid and everything works good we have no uh no leaks and, and there you go and now like i said before those caps that go on them on them bolts right there they're plastic caps. Now, the reason why we didn't get them, they are four dollars fifty nine cents. But the reason, the real reason why we didn't get them, is because I got to pull this back out again anyway when I do the flooring, which I probably wouldn't have to. You can cut around there, but I don't like doing it that way. When I do the flooring, I'm gonna take it, you know, take the commode back out and, and do it the way it's supposed to be done. But there's the commode. We just we got to get a lid for it. Well, the lid might be in the basement. We don't know, but. I got a battery light flashing here, so there you go, YouTube. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Pooh Bear for all your help. But as you can see, we threw some blue paint on on here just to brighten it up in this bathroom. You guys might remember it was real dark blue, and it was drab, and 
but so that's a little how-to video for you just kind of like a little update what we're doing to the house and everything Pooh, thank you for your help and cleaning that real good and everything you're welcome you're an awesome girl <laughs> you get prettier every day you know that oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> and um, we got some good news recently didn't we yes you want to tell them what it was I'm not sure which oh um, Shea Bear got a promotion at work so we're all excited about that he's gonna have some more days off during the week so that's cool yeah just happened to get today off because we had enough people show up to where we rotate I've been getting maybe one day off every 10 to 15 days or something like that and the last one I had to take off but so now I'll be getting every other weekend off and two days through the week off on the weekends that I do have to work so we'll have more videos coming for you so she's pretty happy about that aren't yes, you? Yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> and they're 12 hour days but like I said I get the days off so um, like it's a 2-2-3 two, two, shift my longest week it'll be a Friday Saturday and Sunday 12 hour days but I I get off I'll be getting off around 7 30 at night so I'll be home at nights with Pooh yes she's pretty happy about that she's yes. been messing Shea Bear at night so yes but enough of our private life you guys don't really give a shit about <laughs> that but uh, we don't either but we just wanted to give you a little update of what we're doing so like I said battery things blinking and, and again thanks for watching and Pooh Pooh Bear out <laughs> all right Shea Bear I'm gone thank you thank you